This is Eric Smith. Time to do another quick look video, and I thought I would do it from the 11th chapter of Luke, verse 23. And the word of God reads this way. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. These are the words of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And in Luke 11, verses 14 through 36, it's talking about the rejection of the nation of Israel against Jesus Christ. But in this particular verse, Jesus is saying something that is very startling, very stark, and very blunt and to the point. He says, he that is not with me is against me. So you notice he's saying, if you're not with me, you are actually against me. There is no neutrality. So you're going to see people in the world that will say things like, oh yeah, um, I know that you're for Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, that you're a Christian, that you're following that faith, and that's good for you, but that's not good for me. Um, whatever floats your boat, um, I'm happy, but I respect your opinion. Not according to Jesus. He's saying that he, that person is not with him, so they're against him. You could have people in different faiths that think they respect our faith, like the Muslim faith, or uh, the Buddhist faith, or even Judaism. And they may give lip service to Jesus, but they have a wrong Jesus and they don't believe who Jesus is. They are not with Jesus, they're against him. You can have some cults, like the Jehovah's Witnesses, that say they believe in Jesus, but they don't believe in his deity. Or the Mormons that say they believe in Jesus Christ, but they say that the devil is Jesus' brother. Or even some in the Catholic Church that believe in Jesus Christ and even can believe in the Trinity in certain doctrines, but they add works to grace. They have a different Jesus Christ, so they're not actually with him, they're against him. Notice there is no neutrality. The faith in Jesus Christ is exclusive. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. We can't have this idea that the unsaved world or people in different faiths or people in cults are neutral about Jesus Christ. No, they're not for him, so they're against him. And then the second part of the verse says, And he that gathereth not with me scattereth. When we go out there and give the glorious gospel, and people get saved, and then we disciple them, we're gathering people unto Jesus Christ. But if we're not doing that, then we're actually what? Scattering. And the unsaved world does not gather people unto Christ. So they're scattering. Again, there is no neutrality. There's nothing neutral about our faith. And there's nothing neutral about the unsaved person. They're sinners. You can read about them in Romans 3, uh, 9 through 20. This is what they do. They hate God, and they hate the Lord Jesus Christ, and they even hate Christians. That's what Jesus says in John, uh, 5, um, uh, I believe it's 15, 18 through 23. If I have the verses wrong, I apologize. But we have to understand that there is no neutrality in the faith. Dear Christian, when you go out and give the glorious gospel, to unbelievers, or somebody in a different religion, or even somebody in a cult. Don't believe for a second that they're neutral about Jesus Christ. They can give lip service to him, but if they have not repented and believed that Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sins and rose again on the third day, confessing it with their mouth and believing it in their heart, like Romans 10, 9 through 13 talks about, then they are not with Jesus Christ. They are absolutely against him. We do not have an inclusive faith. It's exclusive. It's only through the precious blood of Jesus Christ dying on the cross. And if, if someone does not confess that, if someone does not believe that, they are not for Jesus. So this is Luke chapter 11, verse 23. Just wanted to do a quick look to encourage you, Christian, that when you're going out there giving the gospel, you're going to run into some people that are basically going to say, hey, your faith is your faith, and I respect Jesus. In fact, I respect a lot of the moral things in the Bible. I um, respect um, a lot of the laws. I respect, you know, um, some of the things that Jesus Christ says, but they have not trusted the Lord Jesus Christ. Then guess what? They're not for him. They're against him. And even our past president back in the day, Thomas Jefferson loved the laws of God, but you know what he did? 
he took a razor and cut out any Bible verses that talked about the deity of Christ because he liked the laws of God, but he didn't like the God of the laws. And he couldn't accept that Jesus Christ was deity. He was against Christ, no matter what lip service he gave. As always, if the videos on this channel have encouraged your Christian walk and edified you in any way whatsoever, but you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you want to, hit the button. If you want to leave any comments, please do so, but please do not be snarky. Please do not be profane. We want to be Christ-like in everything we say and do as Christians. And until we do another quick look, remember this verse here. Remember what Jesus Christ is saying. When we're giving the gospel to people, don't let them lull you to sleep as if, that they're, as if they're neutral. Because they're going to say things and make you think they're neutral. The Bible says they are not, and Jesus in this verse says they're not. And that's why we have to tell them, even in the midst of the gospel, that there's no neutrality and that faith in Jesus Christ is exclusive, not inclusive. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless.